Assalamu alaikum students welcome to an another tutorial on introductions to information and communication technologies the topic of today's tutorial is spreadsheet so let's start a spreadsheet is a software application that allows users to store organize and analyze data in a table format it consists of rows and columns where data can be entered edited and manipulated using various formulas and functions the uses of spreadsheets are budgeting and financial planning data analysis and visualization accounting and bookkeeping project management and tracking scientific and engineering calculations business intelligence and reporting and education and research the coming slides shows the examples of some of the spreadsheet software and their interfaces first this is the interface of microsoft excel Microsoft Excel is a spreadsheet program that lets you organize your data into list and then you can summarize compare and present your data graphically you can think it like a super smart electronic notebook that makes easy to work with numbers and data Google Sheets this is the interface of Google Sheet Google Sheet is a free online spreadsheet software that is part of Google Workplace. It has many features and functions similar to Microsoft Excel. This interface is of LibreOffice Calc. It is a free and open source spreadsheet software that is part of LibreOffice Suite. Apple numbers have this type of interface. Apple Number is a powerful spreadsheet software developed by Apple company. It allows user to create and edit spreadsheets with ease, making it a great alternative to Microsoft Excel or Google Sheets. Open Office Calc is a free and open source spreadsheet software that is part of the Open Office Suite. Students before you start working on microsoft excel you should know about the different sections of workbook this is an interface of a workbook and you can see at the topmost section of excel window has the title bar the title bar displays the information about the name of the workbook and the name of the application the title bar also have the windows control buttons which consist of minimize maximize and close button the ribbon section in microsoft excel is a user interface element that organizes commands and tools into tabs and groups such as home insert page layout formulas data etc the ribbon makes it easier to find and use the tools you need to work with your data a workbook consists of one or more worksheets worksheet tab is used to switch from sheet to sheet we can rename a sheet by double clicking on this sheet tab or we can add a new sheet by pressing this plus button The worksheet area or spreadsheet area of window is organized into a rectangular grid containing vertical columns and horizontal rows. The intersection of row and column in a worksheet is called a cell. Each cell is identified by its address which is composed of column header followed by a row header and it is displayed in the name box. which is located at the left corner of formula bar and it have the information about active cell address or we can say it has name of the active cell 
Active cell is the currently selected cell. For example, here G is the column header while 21 is the row header. So the address of active cell is G21 as you can see from the name box. There are two types of scroll bar. The vertical bar is used to move the worksheet up and down while the horizontal bar is used to move sheet right or left. Whatever you type, Excel displays the entry in the formula bar. The formula bar displays the data or formula of a current cell. View buttons lets you to view normal page layout or page break preview. Zoom buttons can be zoom in or zoom out. You can zoom in to get close up view of your file or zoom out to see more of the page at a reduced size. We will explore to create a worksheet, switching between worksheet, adding, deleting and renaming a worksheet, hiding and unhiding a worksheet, zoom in or zoom out in the next slide. Welcome to the interface of Microsoft Excel 2021. As you can see students, this workbook has three worksheets. First is name computer. The name of the second is data and the third is sheet 7. You can navigate between these sheets by pressing the sheet tab. Students, you can change the name of the sheet by double clicking on the sheet tab like this. Students, you can add a new sheet by clicking this plus sign and you can delete a sheet by pressing the right mouse button like this and choosing the option of delete. Students, by following the same procedure, you can hide any sheet like this, choosing the option of hide. Students, you can unhide the sheet by pressing the mouse right button and choosing the option of unhide like this. Students, you can zoom in your file by dragging the this zoom button. And you can zoom out your file by dragging the mouse button towards minus. In the next slide, you will learn saving a workbook, opening an existing workbook, Editing a worksheet, closing a workbook. Students, you can save your workbook by clicking on the file tab and choosing the option of save. By setting the path, I am saving on the desktop and giving it a name. I am giving the name data. By pressing on the save button, this file is saved on the desktop. Students, you can do the same work by pressing Ctrl plus S from the keyboard. Now, for closing, click on the file tab and choose the close button. This file is closed. By clicking on the file button and choosing the option of open, you can open your file by double clicking on the name of the file like this. And you can do it with Ctrl plus O key from the keyboard. You can edit this file like this. Now, pressing the save button. This file is saved with the changes. You can enter text and values into your worksheet as well as erase and replace the contents of a cell by following the steps of the video. You can enter text and values into worksheet by double clicking the cell and typing from the keyboard like this. You can also erase the content of a cell by double clicking on the cell 
and replaces it with new one this is also called replacing the content of a cell students you can insert a new column or row into your worksheet and you can also delete hide unhide the columns and rows you can also increase or decrease the column width and row height you can insert a new column into your worksheet by moving the mouse button and clicking when this sign appears click the right mouse button and choose the option of insert from this drop down menu a new column is added into this worksheet you can also remove this column by choosing the option of delete students you can hide this column by selecting the option of hide and when you want to unhide it press the right mouse button and choose the option of unhide students you can also increase column width by dragging like this similarly you can also increase the row height by following the same procedure students you can also add a new row into your worksheet by clicking the right mouse button and choosing the option of insert similarly you can delete it and you can hide it and by choosing the option of unhide you can unhide it students if you want to get command over spreadsheet go and explore it and don't forget to like share and subscribe my channel give me your valuable feedback in the comment section thank you